this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And the black American culture is not one culture. We are diverse people with diverse ideas and diverse minds. So we don't all think exactly alike. But there is some thinking that's very destructive to the black American community or any community. Very destructive. And sometimes in our community, the negative destructive voices shout down the sensible quiet voices, the voices that make sense, that are constructive and would really uplift our community. So I was listening to a conversation with two athletes and one of them asked the other one a question, something that too many black Americans don't give a lot of forethought to and just think that it's cool or smart or funny to throw out an answer, not realizing what the repercussions of your answer and your actions can be on the black community. I'm going to let you listen to this conversation between Draymond Green and Kevin Durant. Family, you have no kids. You're now 32. I'm 31. I got, I got three kids. I'm, I'm 31. So I, you know, I took a little different route. You're OG <laughs> now, man. <laughs> but you, you have no kids. Why? Do you want kids? Ultimately, do you not want kids? I mean, that's a that's a big commitment, for one. And I always felt like I was just really zoned in on my work and my alone time and my free time. Um, too much for me to like lock in on something like that, you know. And eventually, I do want that. But the older I get, I think is the better because I'm maturing more, knowing myself more, understanding my situation a little bit more. So if I were to invite someone in or combine my life with another person, you know, it'd be perfectly perfect at this time as opposed to me 10 years ago, I wouldn't know what to do. So mm -hmm. I think I'm uh, as long as I wait, you know, uh, it's only gonna be for the better. So a show of hands, how many athletes do you think think like that? Okay, that's what I thought. Not many. How refreshing to see a young man sit there with his full chest and say, I don't have any children. 10 years ago, when he was 23 years old, he's saying, I wouldn't know what to do with children. And they don't either. So the most that they can do is let those women, and I'm going to say this, shake them down for twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a month. And, they might not, and that might not seem like a lot when they're playing basketball. But they will need that money later when they're retired. And those checks are not coming in so frequently. This young man, Tristan Thompson, that Khloe Kardashian has two children with, also has children by other women. He's got about four or five children by different women. Another thing about Tristan Thomas, he has some of these children with these high-profile white women. So he's got to keep them up in the manner that they've been used to. Look at this headline. Tristan Thompson pays $1.9 million a year in child support. Now, if that's not insane, I don't know what is. Cam Newton, a professional football player, has much more money than Tristan Thompson. And he only pays $15,000 a month for four children. Now, I just think all of it is awful, but you can go broke paying child support when you behave so recklessly, which is why what Kevin Durant is saying is so important, not only for his own finances, but also for those children. Those children need to be in a home where they are being loved and nurtured, not just having somebody throwing money at them. They need to be in a situation where their fathers can provide and protect them. And he's in one city, and they're 6,000 miles away. That's it, that is not the way to raise children. So this is why what Kevin Durant is saying is so important and makes so much sense. 
And it really is something that I hope black athletes in particular will think about going forward. Because white athletes will go ahead and get married. They'll be 25 years old and they're already married and with a baby on the way. And so they, that's one way they keep their money. Because they don't spread their seed all over creation. You should also be careful about where you, with whom you, you spread your seed. You shouldn't just want anybody to have a child with you. For that matter, you shouldn't just be laying down with anybody, people you don't know. You don't know their background. You don't know anything about them. Many of them are having children with these women and they're racist. And the children are coming out on a daily basis talking about their parents being racist. So black Americans, I just feel like we need to think a little bit more deeply about what we're doing. So I really appreciate this conversation. I'm really glad I came across this conversation because it just makes sense. It makes sense for men to think about what they're doing, especially when they have great resources. They can do great things with great resources, but you know, giving a hundred thousand here and a half a million there and a million there and you know, you could go broke very easily. That's all I gotta say. So this was the smartest thing that I've heard a black athlete say in a long time. And for everybody who's gearing up to type in the comment section, he can do what he wants to with his money. You are absolutely right. But it is wise to use good judgment. And so I'll leave you with this. This is why I'm putting you out of my house. You always come over here and this with the spear. Repeat what you just said. My mama is trying to have a baby because you know what happened last time. Tata, Tata had Lonnie and then months later you had Kiki. Okay. Let somebody else have some kids. You want to have all the kids. Now you got nine. You better have 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, you 20. Girl, let me tell you something. Your mama and your auntie and them having kids don't got nothing to do with me. I do what I please. I'm older than them. But one month later, you're going to have it the night time. Listen, it wasn't planned. It was in God's time. Well, God didn't. Well, well God still ain't pleased with you, though. Yes, he is pleased with me because let me tell you, I'm married. Okay? Unlike your mama or your auntie. Ta ta. So let me okay. tell you, number nine. Now, now don't listen. talk about my mama. Girl, now. you trying to talk about me in my womb. You can't tell me what to do with my womb. Just because your mama didn't want to have children, that don't mean I can't. My mama only got one. Tata got two. I ain't going to say yeah, what about me. But step, my son got two. Step no, he got three. Don't say. No, no, my son don't. They got Not two. Not yet.